everyone. I am Dr. Kanika Kalyani and I am the Chief Gynecologist and Infertility Specialist at Indra IVF, Burevli, Mumbai. I hope you all are still taking precautions to protect yourselves from COVID-19. I know that now we are in the fifth phase of easing of COVID-19 related restrictions, that is unlock 5 as you call it. But please continue to follow social distancing. Wherever you are, keep everybody around you at a two-arm distance. Wear masks whenever you go out. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water. You can also carry a bottle of sanitizer with you. And most importantly, please go out only when it is absolutely essential. We all know that now many restrictions are being removed, but we still have to be very careful. If you have any symptoms like fever, cough, cold, sore throat, you must not waste time and you should visit your nearby doctor as soon as possible. Now today, I am going to discuss about a very important parameter which is used in the evaluation of male infertility and that is sperm DNA fragmentation index. Now how do we routinely evaluate a male sperms? We do a basic semen analysis, right? We check for the sperm count, we check for the sperm motility, and not to forget, we check for the sperm morphology. Morphology refers to the size and the shape of the sperms. So we look for any head defects, any tail defects, any neck defects. And to interpret our results, we use the WHO 2010 criteria for normal seminogram. But in our clinical practice, we frequently come across instances where the male, in spite of having a normal semen analysis, that is having a normal sperm count, having a good progressive sperm motility and more than 4% sperm have a normal morphology, couples firstly fail to conceive and secondly, even if they go for fertility treatment, we see them coming across multiple IUI failures, having multiple IVF failures, or even if they conceive, they'll end up having multiple miscarriages. So a question comes to our mind, that is semen analysis enough for getting complete information about a male's fertility potential? Maybe not. That is exactly why we see so many men having normal semen analysis reports running from clinic to clinic in uh, search of infertility treatment. So we must all remember this very important thing that the semen analysis does not tell us anything about the nuclear structure of the sperm. It does not tell us about the integrity of the genetic material of the sperm, which is very, very crucial for successful fertilization, for development of a healthy, normal embryo and for successful pregnancy. It is the nucleus structure of the sperm which contains the most important DNA. So when we have a completely integrated DNA material packed in the nucleus of the sperm, that is what we call a healthy sperm. And it is that healthy sperm which has the capability to fertilize an oocyte and lead to formation of a healthy embryo and cause healthy pregnancy. Now what is sperm DNA fragmentation? Let us understand this. Sperm DNA fragmentation is the term which is used to denote the abnormal genetic material within the sperm. Now how does this sperm DNA fragmentation occur? It occurs as a result of continuous stress and environmental exposures which affect the sperm and lead to oxidative stress. So we have often found that men with higher DNA fragmentation index, first of all, they are you know, more likely to be infertile. And secondly, if they go to seek infertility treatment, we see that they often land up with multiple IUI failures, IVF failures, or after conception, they land up with multiple miscarriages. Many times, we keep on doing multiple tests for the couple. We keep on searching for the cause of infertility but we miss to evaluate this particular important parameter. In fact, men with higher sperm DNA fragmentation index are 
typically the candidates who might require higher course of treatment like ICSI. Now, should sperm DNA fragmentation index be done in all infertile male? I would say no. Then what are the indications and who are the ideal candidates for this test of sperm DNA fragmentation index? So there are certain 5 to 6 indications where we must do these tests. First, couples with unexplained infertility of more than 3 years. That means the couple has been trying to conceive since more than 3 years but all their reports are normal and they have not been able to find any cause of their infertility. Second, couples who have undergone more than 3 cycles of IUI. Thirdly, couples who have had IVF failures. Fourth, couples with recurrent pregnancy losses that is they have a history of 3 or more previous miscarriages. Fifth, couples in whom the age of the male partner is more than 45 years. And lastly, those men in whom clinical examination reveals varicocele more than grade 2. So these are the cases where we must do sperm DNA fragmentation index. And we need not do this in all the couples. So what is the impact on the embryo development when embryo is formed from a sperm which has a very high highly fragmented DNA. So when a sperm with high DNA fragmentation is used in embryo development, the embryo can have chromosomal abnormality. So that embryo with chromosomal, chromosomal abnormality can firstly lead to failure of implantation. That means the woman will not be able to conceive. Or secondly, even if the woman conceives, the embryo has chromosomal abnormality so she can land up having a miscarriage. Now, what are the prerequisites for sperm DNA fragmentation test? Firstly, you can give your semen sample just like you give for routine semen analysis. Also, you have to maintain abstinence of minimum of 2 days and maximum of 7 days. Now, there are many studies which have proven that when the sperm DNA fragmentation index is less than 25%, the chances of that couple to conceive are much higher. And when the sperm DNA fragmentation index is more and like for say more than 50%, the couple has one third chances for conception. Now you all must be wondering how do we read the sperm DNA fragmentation index reports. When the sperm DNA fragmentation index is less than 15%, it is considered as normal. When the value is between 15 to 25%, we often do a repeat test. If it is more than 25%, we start with medicines for the husband and if the sperm DNA fragmentation index is very high that means it's more than 50% we have to do sperm testicular sperm extraction with IVF ICSI. So in these males we directly take out the sperms from the testes and make the embryo in the lab using ICSI technique. Now what should you do if your sperm DNA fragmentation index comes high? Firstly you have to change your lifestyle and diet you have to add antioxidant rich foods in your diet like green leafy vegetables, multiple colorful vegetables to your diet. Secondly, we are going to prescribe you certain antioxidant tablets. And also nowadays when males have higher sperm DNA fragmentation index and we are doing IVF ICSI for those couples, we often use a sperm sorter technology. Microfluidic sperm sorter technology is what we call it. In these couples, before using their sperms, we put them in microfluidic sperm sorter coalesce, which is an excellent equipment which filters out the motile sperms which are assumed to have intact DNA and it separates the other immotile sperms which might have damaged DNA. So this is a very good technique for males with high sperm DNA fragmentation index. And also when the DNA fragmentation index is very high, that is it is more than 50% as I previously mentioned, we directly go for testicular sperm extraction. So if your doctor is advising you to go for sperm DNA fragmentation index test, just remember that it's a very important test and you must get it done to find the cause of multiple failures or multiple miscarriages in your case. Thank you.